I am the creative director here at Brangleberry. And today we are gonna be making these really cute strawberry lemonade soaps. This is a more intermediate to advanced melt and pour project. The reason why is this project involves first making embeds for the strawberry pieces and the stems, and then layering them into the bar. The process takes a little bit of time and patience, as well as a good understanding of melt and pour temperatures. We're scenting the bars with our lemonade stand fragrance oil from our spring picnic collection. It's a really fruity, kind of tart blend of a lot of different fruits. Of course, it has lemons, and I totally get a little bit of strawberry notes in there. To tie it all together, we're also adding a little bit of strawberry extract to the bars, as well as some poppy seeds to give that uh, strawberry effect in the little heart embeds. So the first step in this process is to create the embeds, so let's go ahead and do that. To create the strawberries, we're using our mini heart silicone column mold. This is actually gonna be used for the fruit of the strawberry as well as the stem. For the strawberry part, we're using clear melt and pour soap, and this is gonna help us get that really nice vibrant red color. So first we're just going to chop this down into small pieces, and that makes it easier to melt evenly in the microwave. We don't need too much of this, just about four ounces will do the trick. And I'm using this crinkle cutter. It works really, really well to create these nice little pieces. All right, so we are gonna add about four ounces into our container along with a chunk of our perfect red color block. Now color blocks are made in-house by the Brambleberry team and what they are are they're just really highly concentrated pieces of melt and pour. So you can just take off little pieces like this and add them directly to your container and they melt really nicely and evenly into your soap. So because we're melting down a pretty small amount, I'm just gonna do about 10 to 20 second bursts to slowly and gently melt our soap. So I'm just gonna stir in that color block to make sure it's incorporated thoroughly. Now to this soap, we're adding poppy seeds to give that illusion of strawberries. And the poppy seeds do add a little bit of exfoliation, but really because it's in such a small area of the soap, I didn't notice too much. Now because poppy seeds are a little bit heavy, you wanna be aware of the temperature of your soap because if, it's, um, if your soap is too hot, it's really thin and it won't suspend the poppy seeds within. They'll all just fall to the bottom of your mold and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and check the temperature. Um, this project is really good to have a temperature gun because we are doing a lot of layers and melt and pour soap can be a little finicky when it comes to temperature, for example, this step, you don't want your soap to be too hot because the poppy seeds can fall. So it's handy to have a temperature gun to see where you're at. So we're at 130, which is pretty good, but I do want it to be just a little bit cooler before I pour um, our soap into the mold. But I can go ahead and add the poppy seeds now, and then that will kind of show me if they're falling or suspending within the soap. So the temperature is falling. We've got like 125 which is getting better, you almost want the soap to become a little bit thick. You'll kind of notice as you're stirring that it'll become a little bit thicker. You don't want it to be too thick, so then it's like too globby that you can't pour it into your column mold. But this is starting to look really, really nice. All right, now that our soap has cooled down a bit, we are going to pour it into the heart silicone mold. This is a column mold, so it needs to stand upright when you pour. So I've got a glass container here that will help keep it vertical while we pour. Make sure that the two pieces of the mold are securely together so soap doesn't run out. I'm gonna give this one last stir. And you can see in the container that the poppy seeds are not falling, which is great. All right, so just start pouring that into your mold. And then this will take about, oh, about 20 minutes, maybe 30 to cool and harden. So this piece has had a chance to cool and harden fully, and as you can see, it has kind of left some little um, bits here. So you can just either use your fingers to kind of clean that up, or this little cleanup tool, I think it's usually used for clay, a sculpting tool to just kind of get those little pieces off. 
So this soap is created in the four inch silicone mold. So we need two pieces of this heart embed to sit inside. So what I like to do is just take the embed and kind of line it up at either the top or this might actually be easier. Uh, and then just kind of cut to fit inside your mold horizontally. And then you can kind of double check it like this. It's actually really nice as if it kind of like perfectly sits in here without like falling down because that makes embedding a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna use this piece as my guide to cut the second piece. So the next piece of our strawberry is the stem. And I'm actually gonna use this heart silicone mold again to create the stem. Um, I experimented with a different couple like techniques and you know pieces to use for the stem, but I liked that we can just use this heart mold again. And basically what you're gonna do is fill this up and then we're gonna chop off or you know slice off that top part of the heart that has the little curve until we're left with this little triangle. So this is using white melt and pour soap rather than clear. All right, so chopping this down into small pieces and then I'm gonna put this in the microwave, again, using like 10 to 20 second bursts just so we don't scorch the soap. All right, so then we are adding our green color block and I'm gonna add quite a bit of this because I want a really nice saturated green. All righty, so that is ready to go. Once again, I've got my heart silicone molds. Let me get that in our container so it is vertical. Give our soap one last stir and pour into the mold. Again, give this about 20 to 30 minutes to fully cool and harden, and then we will cut it into our stem shape. So our green piece has cooled and hardened, and now I'm just gonna use the red pieces that we've already cut as my guide, because these need to be the same size. Okay, so I found it's easiest to prop up your embed vertically, and then like we're, I said, we're just gonna slice off this top part of the heart, the little curved part, so that we're left with a little triangle. And then we're going to use this in the mold as our little stem. Okay, so now we have both strawberry embeds and both leaf pieces. So we're gonna set these aside and work on the base. So for the base of our soap, the light pink part, we're gonna chop down more white melt and pour soap. And I'm using white because I really liked that pastel, kind of really soft, pretty pink color. If you were to use a clear soap, you would get a really vibrant pink, which would be good too, but you wouldn't get quite as much contrast with your strawberries. So I'm just chopping down some small pieces and placing these into our heat safe container. And if you prefer, you can absolutely melt down, melt and pour over a double boiler. Um, I like to use a microwave because it's quick and easy, but if you don't have a microwave, double boiler is always an option too. All right, so I think this is all we need. And because this is a larger amount of soap, I'm gonna use more 30 to 60 second bursts to melt all of this down. All right, so when we're melting down a somewhat larger batch of melt and pour like this, this is after about 90 seconds or so, you'll get to the point where some of it is melted and some of it is not. So as you can see, we have a lot of liquid soap and then we also have a lot of larger chunks. So this is a good time to take it out of your microwave and give it a good stir just to make sure everything is getting heat evenly. And then we are gonna put this back into the microwave. We'll give it another 30 seconds. All right, so that looks really nice. I see, I do feel a couple more chunks, but I'm just gonna let the heat from the melted soap melt that down. I think it's hot enough. So give that a good stir. And to this, we're gonna add some of our pink color block. I like to add this one while it's melted because then you can really gauge the color a little bit easier because this colorant is so vibrant that a little goes a long way. And there have been a few times where I've made this where I've ended up with a pink color that's just been a little bit brighter than I wanted. So this gives you a chance to kind of control the color a little bit more. And for reference, the soap is about 140 degrees right now, which is a really good temperature that's, it's not too hot that it's burned at all, but it is hot enough to melt down that color block. And if you add your color block to your melted soap and it's just like not melting, it just means your soap needs to be a little bit hotter. Um, I can tell this is starting to cool down a little bit, so I'm just gonna give it like a 10 second burst in the microwave. 
So now that our soap is fully melted and the color looks good, I'm going to add a little bit of strawberry extract. And this extract is one that is dispersed in fractionated coconut oil. Now, I know you gotta be careful when you add extra oils to your melt and pour soap because adding too much can really throw off the um, balance of, of the soap itself. So it could kind of lead to, you know, a decreased lather, but we're adding just a small amount that I didn't notice any, uh, any decrease in lather, still feels really nice on the skin, but it just gets that extra skin loving properties in there. And then we're also going to add our fragrance oil. This is that lemonade stand. And it doesn't discolor in melt and pour soap. That's something that you always want to watch out for, whether you're making melt and pour or cold process soap. So no need to worry about that. It's not going to affect the color of the soap at all. And then we're just going to stir our liquid ingredients in until you can't see any more oily streaks. And then we're going to pour our first layer into our mold. All right, so we're just going to pour a really small amount into our mold first, and this is just that bottom layer. So we're just kind of giving our strawberries something to sit on top of. So the temperature isn't really too big of a deal for this first layer. So I'm just pouring really just a couple ounces. That's honestly enough. And then I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol to get rid of the bubbles that are on top. So this is where a little bit of patience comes into play with this project because we need to wait for this to harden and cool so that it can suspend the strawberry on top. If I were just to place that strawberry in right now, it would just plink, sink to the bottom uh, where we want it to suspend. So we're just going to wait a little bit. And while we do, I'm going to cover this with a little bit of plastic wrap. And that's just going to help retain as much moisture in, in our melt and pour soap and help it so we don't have to microwave quite as much later. All right, so our soap is covered. We can just set that aside. And basically, you just gotta wait. I would give it about 20 to 30 minutes, um, and then you can check on it. So it's been about 30 minutes, which is just the perfect amount of time to clean up a little bit. Maybe do a little TikTok scrolling. And I'm checking the firmness of this top layer, and it's looking pretty good. I like to just use my fingers to kind of give it um, a little bit of a press and see where we're at. And it has formed a really nice um, top layer. So we know it's gonna be firm enough to support that first strawberry. So we're going to unwrap our pink soap and check on it and make sure it's still fluid. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And it's formed kind of a top layer of skin too, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and stir and check the temperature. You don't want it to be too hot because then it could actually melt your strawberry a little bit. So again, this is when a uh, temperature gun really comes in handy. And we're at 120, which is perfect. So I'm gonna insert this strawberry into our mold, kind of on the side. Really press it down there nicely. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of alcohol into the mold, and this is gonna help our two layers adhere. So pouring a little bit in and then spraying it to get rid of bubbles. And that is nicely just kind of sliding into that other side of the strawberry. I'm going to carefully pour a little bit on top of the mold. That's okay. Hopefully get some in the mold as well. And really, I'm just pouring it kind of until like oh, the strawberry is like almost half, I guess. It's about half and then spraying it again with bubbles. And then I'm gonna let this harden just a little bit too because I want to set the other strawberry in there um, so it's not completely like one on top of the other, but it just has a little bit of room. So really this will be about like 10 more minutes of waiting. All right, so this layer has hardened just a little bit. The skin is honestly pretty thin, but I think it will uh, suspend that strawberry piece okay. So I'm just gonna insert that into the other side of our silicone mold. Awesome, and then I did heat up our soap again, but I think it's at a pretty good temperature. We're at 130, you really don't want it to be any hotter than that. Again, you don't want to melt those embeds. Then we're going to, again, spray more alcohol to get everything to adhere. Oh, and I'm also going to add our first uh, stem layer. So just popping that on top and it kind of sits nicely in that little curve of the heart. You can kind of give it like a little press just to help make sure it's gonna stay. And then I'm just going to oh so carefully pour some of the pink soap around that first strawberry. 
hopefully, there we go, pour it on the side as well until it comes in contact with that leaf and then that will suspend or hold that leaf in place. And we're gonna spray again with alcohol to get rid of bubbles. And then I'm gonna pour right in here to make sure that everything is covered with pink. Now at this point, if you wanted to be extra cautious, you could give this layer a little bit of time to set and cool, but I think we'll be fine if I just put this, like, dig out a little bit of this pink soap that's in our, on top of our red, but I think we'll be fine if I just put this right on top of our other strawberry, our second stem. Spray with alcohol again, and then we're gonna pour this on top of the first stem, spray with alcohol to get rid of bubbles, and pour it on the other side too. All right, just kind of like taking a look, <laughs> make sure everything looks good, everything is like staying where it needs to. This is the nice part if you um, cut your embeds like perfectly to sit inside of the mold. It helps a lot because then they're not like floating around in there. So I think we're good to go. I think I can just go ahead and pour the rest of this soap in here. Just gonna spray with more alcohol, because why not? Never hurts. And I'm just pouring that to the very tippy top of our mold. So now that everything is in our mold, I would recommend letting this cool for at least three to four hours up to overnight. Personally, I like to wait until overnight just to make sure everything is really cool. I have found that if I try to cut into melt and pour soap that has layers while it's like still a little warm, like, you know, that where it's like a little warm, but it's still, but it's still firm. I have found that if I do that, the layers are more likely to separate. So I like to just give it that overnight rest to fully cool and harden, and then your layers are more likely to stick together. So I made this soap yesterday, so it has had overnight to fully harden and cool. So the first step is just pulling away the sides of the silicone mold to loosen up that airlock. And then it's a little, gotta use, gotta use some muscle to just push out the bottom. And then you'll feel the bottom break that airlock and it gets a little bit easier to push out. There we go. Okay, so now it's time to cut our soap into bars. I'm using a nice, sharp, uh, non-serrated knife. And first I'm just gonna go right down the middle. Yay, it looks so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna cut these into two bars. This loaf makes four bars really nicely. Of course you can cut it um, thicker or thinner depending on how many bars you want, but I really like the size of four bars for this mold. So cute. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And if you make this project, please share it with us on Instagram, TikTok, all the places so that we can see it and get inspired. Thanks so much. Bye. Getting started. <laughs> oh, well, that's